W, NBC. Thank you. All right, now we're going to do this like this, or are you going to do it like this and roll me in, or how you? Yeah. Jimmy Carter from Nashville. Hi, Jimmy. Right? How are you? What do you want to do? Nashville. Uh, yeah. Oh, his family's from Nashville. Who is? My wife. Oh, family. really? Yeah. Well, that'd be Franklin. That's true. No, that's just there yesterday doing an interview with Woody Guthrie's granddaughter. Wow, there you go. So she was there. Ready? What do you want to do? You want to do uh, Let's do it like this. Do it over here and just kind of get it in. I'm going to do it like this, and I'll back off a little bit. Okay. Later. All right? I used to talk to Jerry Orbach a little bit about how people would yell at him on the street, you know, and mm -hmm. I think they really, they, took, they adopted him basically in Manhattan. Yeah. How has this affected you and your personal life? I mean, I have to yell at you a little bit. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of yelling lately. Uh, the best aspect of it is uh, I can call on a Saturday night at a restaurant and get a reservation pretty quickly, but I have to kind of convince them who I am, mm -hmm. who I think I am. Uh, yeah, it's great. You know, New York's kind of a small town. There's, there's a lot of... Uh, you know, different businesses and the things going down. It's not a one-horse, one-trick pony. Yeah. This is a city that doesn't hesitate in telling you if they like something or if they don't like something or they just want to put their two cents worth. Uh, any two cents you get out there from the uh, fellow brothers in the police department? Yeah, actually, uh, I've gotten the nicest compliments from, from the cops. You know, that they, uh, many of them have said, you know, you carry yourself like a detective. And, you know, highest compliment I can get. Mm -hmm. You know, this character's been around now, what, 120 episodes, you said? Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. So at this point, you're personally involved. This guy's, I mean, he's hes a big part of your life. Yeah. So do you get with the writers every once in a while and say, you know, this is too good, this, you know, and try to guide them a little bit, or is that really not done? Uh, no, definitely. That's actually, I think, uh, one of the great aspects of this show. It's not a dictatorship. But, you know, it's really a collaborative effort. Neil Baer, the head writer, is, uh, I don't think it's, uh, I'm overstating to, to say he's a genius. And I think part of part of that is that he'll write a great script, uh, him and his writing staff. But they're, they're always open to, to listening to, to great ideas or marginal mm -hmm. ideas. It's a constant. Uh, I mean, even today we were, we were hammering out a scene right until the very end. Is there something you want to see this character do in the next year or so, arcing out? You want to see more of his personal life in there? You want to see him? No, you know, I, I, we tried that at the beginning of the show to try and get uh, mm -hmm. personal, to, to weigh it a little more heavily in, in the personal area, and you know, it just couldn't, the fabric couldn't hold it because, you know, it's such a, a, um, uh, a, a crime plot driven show. You know, you can't take that left turn into my driveway because, you know, you, you always got to, at the end of the, you got to resolve the problem at the end of the episode. So I think what they're doing, though, they're, they're getting me back home, or at least delving on what's going on back home a little mm -hmm. more. And I'm very happy with that. So, um, I've told him though. I said, guys, I'm not getting any younger. So if you want any <laughs> big stunts, now's your time. Uh, one of our daughters of Tennessee has married this young man. Yes. Now, how'd this happen? I mean, do, you're a, you're not a New Yorker anyway. You're from uh, the Washington D.C. area. DC, yeah. D.C. Okay, so that's kind of on the borderline of the South. Yeah. Franklin is a very historic area for the Civil War. I'm sure you know that. That was a very big place down I there. Didn't. So. I didn't. I got to tell you. Yes, you got to know this. So, how did you meet a Franklin, Tennessee woman? Uh, we were in a Civil War reenactment. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> we, uh, she shot me dead. Yeah. Uh, no, we well, that met. Could, that could be later, but we don't want to go there. <laughs> she, she, uh, we met in L.A. Mm -hmm. on a job. Uh, you know, she was in the business there for a while, and you know, we, uh, she was driving her Harley Davidson motorcycle. Hmm. I was toast. You know how that happens. I like them girls in the Harleys. Yeah, well, they, they're, they grow on trees down there. <laughs> Actually, there are a lot of them, but believe it or not, one on a Judd has a Harley, mm -hmm. and all the Judds live down there near Franklin, so there are a lot of Harley girls down there. She's one of them. So you get to go home? Does she ever go home? Uh, yeah, occasionally, yeah. No, you know, no. Is she going to bring you? Oh, I've been down there. Oh, you have been yeah, there? Yeah, she showed me off. Well, maybe that's not the exact phrasing. But she, she, they put up with me. All right, well, we'll hope you come see us. See, we'll look at this guy for the airport every one of these days, all right? Real promo, here we go. All right, you say your name, I'll say mine. Hi, I'm Christopher Maloney. And I'm Jimmy Carter, and we're going to talk to Chris, who has married a Franklin, Tennessee girl. Can you believe this? That's coming up next on Channel 4 News tonight. Mm -hmm. One more time. Hi, I'm Christopher Maloney. And I'm Jimmy Carter. Coming up on Channel 4 News, we will tell you about his character. We will also tell you about his real love light. How about that? That's all just ahead. Coming up later on Channel 4 News, we'll talk to Chris, who has a great show on TV every Tuesday night. What's the name of that show? Law and Order Special Victims. How do you keep up with all the law and order? Yeah, SVU, the mm -hmm. one they call SUV, and you get mad. Yeah. That's coming up on Channel 4 News. I think we did it on the way out of here again. How many times does that get screwed up, you know, on a given day? <laughs>